I work in the X-rated business, and I'm proud of it. Unless, of course, you're an undercover cop. In which case, I do missionary work. Instead of becoming a waitress, I became a hooker. Main difference? Shorter menu. And I, and I know what you're thinking. Well, where did I go to school to learn this? Well, liberal arts school, of course. <laughs> Community college was a blast. Not that I was actually enrolled. But I fucked a lot of guys who went there. Well, it's not like I did that University of Phoenix. I may be a tramp, but I'm not a moron. <laughs> People calling me a dirty slut. It's not true. I take showers. <laughs> and I've been vaccinated. I haven't had a cold in over eight years. I have the health of an ox. And I work just like you, only with less clothes. All right. <laughs> Folks, look, I'm not family friendly. I'm just friendly. <laughs> you know, I'm often asked, you know, why do I wear so much makeup? Well, in case I get arrested for prostitution, I want to look good for my mugshot. <laughs> you don't get many chances to take a, take a really good mugshot. Do you want to see the shot I would take? You ready? <laughs> all right, all right. The louder you laugh, the better I will suck. You think I'm kidding? This is a bringer show. I got six dicks to suck later on. <laughs> <laughs> Never get into prostitution, young lady. Not that it's bad for you. It's that I don't need the competition. <laughs> Relax over there. I didn't even have sex today. Yes, I did. <laughs> now, can you imagine me collecting unemployment? The unemployment interviewer will ask, Well, why did you leave your last job? Well, because he came too fast. <laughs> Well, I didn't actually leave my job. My employer, he got dressed and left. <laughs> and what job is this? Well, a blow job. <laughs> All right, drink up, folks, drink up. <laughs> um, now everybody's worried about the state of my vagina. My vagina is just fine. And you can see it for yourself for only $200. Now these guys are all paranoid about catching something from me. The dude's on the phone, hey May, uh, I think I have something. I've seen you, you have nothing. You know, my friends are like, May, May, look, you just gotta talk about the porn movies you did. You know, people are gonna call the police on you. Nobody's calling the police. You know, we're the last taboo standing, us hookers. And let us perverts fucking peace. The prostitution rests. Now, where's my crazy money? Like they give to the soldiers for their post-traumatic stress disorder. Try surviving even one porn blowjob. You don't give a blowjob like that in real life. I suffer from post-traumatic fellatio disorder. I go to eat food, and it's all over my face. I have no idea if food is dripping off my chin. I see those big burritos at El Chipotle. <laughs> start having porn shoot flashbacks. I start squirting everything around me. Squirt some hot sauce. Squirt it all over my face. <laughs> Help me, people. I suck cock for you. That's right. I keep, these, I keep these streets safe. I keep these animals off the street. And at their computers. And, and I've had sex with some famous and powerful men. I even gave that Stephen Hawking's a boner. He was awful in bed. He just laid there. And Donald Trump was kinky. He wanted his toupee to watch. And I had sex with that Charlie Sheen. But I'm no dummy. I wore a hazmat suit. <laughs> 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 
I've had sex with so many men that I have a camel foot. <laughs> I've had sex with so many men that I even had sex with Tom on MySpace. <laughs> you know, I am so sexual, I have been banned from three mattress stores. I'm so sexual that when I yawn, men take their dicks out. <laughs> I am so sexual, I'm having a hard time not swallowing this microphone. <laughs> I've had more wangs inside me than a casino during a pie gow tournament. <laughs> I've had more cum in me than an Iraqi army camel. <laughs> Alright, let me put it to you this way. When I queef, a guy falls out. <laughs> and you know, I have a personal life too, you know. You know, sometimes I meet a guy and it's just going really, it's just, it's just great. Until he finds out what I do. You're a stand-up comedian? <laughs> Thank you, folks. Have a good night.